Last use of the pool. Come on, man, jump in. Swim around in that muck. That's disgusting, man. <laughs> really gonna demo this whole thing? Yeah. He punched it with a pitchfork all the way around the edge to drain the water out. But he didn't get it quite low enough. It was full of water and it just flooded all over. What happened? Ah, uh, the, the pool cover. I picked it up and it was full of water. I threw it over my shoulder. Alright, you ready? No, he jumped in there. He went for a swim. Look at that. Yeah, from time to time I get a demolition job that goes along hand in hand with the, the tree work. So we've got a house that's going to be torn down here and there's a lot of things that you know, the new homeowner asked me to do in preparation for the bigger equipment. And one of them was to get rid of this doughboy or this above ground pool. And uh, I like to talk a little bit about the bucket that I use. Um, a friend of mine uh, developed this bucket years ago. He calls it the Demo Dozer Bucket. You can find a lot of videos on my site about this particular bucket. And it's, it's so much more than just a grapple bucket. By having a straight edge all the way along that clamps down, it allows you to do things rather than just four points coming down. It, it allows you to grab things that you couldn't do with any other bucket. You know, just, just to be able to grab hold of this plastic and, and, and this metal and pull it up and, and separate it uh, without just you know, punching through it and tearing it to shreds is it's quite a uh, quite an amazing bucket. I, I, every time I use this bucket, I'm I'm blown away by you know I say to myself, wow, I don't know how I could have done that any other way. And you know it was kind of a sketchy job here because uh, I, I was working next to a possible cave-in for the tractor, so I was getting awfully close. There was a couple times I thought I was going to slip in. But you can see I can, you know, because of that long straight edge and, and the power of those, uh, uh, those hydraulic cylinders, it really holds and really grips well on this stuff. So I was able to get in there and, and pull out the, the liner because I had to separate. I had to put metal in one pile and plastic in another pile because, you know, when you dispose of all this stuff, you have to be, be careful how you do it. You know, so I stop and back up. I didn't want to run over it and rip it with the, the tracks. So it's just uh, just a matter of scooping and pulling, scooping and pulling. I, I tell you, I, I, you know, I, I don't know how else you could do this. You know, a, a four-in-one bucket, maybe, but, you know, the, the clamping part is so far back, you'd be, you couldn't see what you were doing. So, anyway, um, had a lot of fun on this job. It's uh, not often that you get a chance to demo a swimming pool, which is the only one I've ever done. And there's a, <laughs> I don't know, there's a lot of satisfaction in destroying something like this. I don't, um, I'm sure the people that used to own this pool would be chagrined to see this. Sorry, Dale, if you're looking at this now. Um, it is what it is. Time marches on. And one thing you can always count on in this world, that's change. I did reach a point where I had to get the last bit of the water out of the pool. Uh, it was just sitting in the sand, the compacted sand here. Because uh, the next step is we've got to fill this void back in. And the foundation is going to be going through this, this section. So in order to fill the void, we're going to have to get all this sand out of here. And layer it in and compact and bring in a sheep's foot and lay it all back together so that, uh, they can actually build a house where this swimming pool was. Well, hope you enjoyed that. Um, uh, thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel. The mountainside. It looks scary. Judging by the flow, we are looking at 500 gallons per minute. Like the commentary.